Yeah, so tell us a bit about your training camp. I mean, everyone's seen that you've uh, uh, went to Crawford Gym. You've, yeah, you've mum, I've got some bumps inside his arms, but I've got bigger, man. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> No, the, first, no. the first thing I said when I saw him, I was like, "Where's lean. this physique come from?" Now, lean, man. I've been lean, man. Well, I tell you one thing: I've been training hard um, these last couple of weeks in in Dubai, uh, in in um, over in Omaha. Yeah, it's been brilliant. It's hard, man. These guys don't take no days off, mm. and that's what makes yeah. you a beast. I mean, why Crawford? Why is Crawford one of the best in the world? Because he never takes days off. Never takes days and off. And I realized that when I was training with them, Paul is in Look, shape. I'm one of them to push working. myself, yeah. yeah, and I'm on them to push myself to the end. You know, yeah. what I mean, I, I you have to kill me to stop me. And you know, with um, they were training Monday twice a day, Tuesday twice a day, Tuesday, Thursday twice a day, Friday twice a day, which is morning wow. and night, morning and afternoon training. That one morning is running, and afternoon is um, uh, boxing. Yeah. And then Saturday you do a sprint, and on Sunday you spar. Wow, come on, bro. Like you know, there's not many gym people, people out there who train like that in the gyms. But look, so what an experience. Like a beast. I'm going to train like a beast, man. <laughs> I always train like a beast, bro. Exactly. Yeah. So it's good to see that you're mixing it up. So yeah. you'll have uh, Crawford as your sparring partner as well, which I think I mean, again, look, is... Uh, they've, got, they've got so many good fighters. They've got uh, Hooker there. They've got yeah. Crawford there. They've got uh, Jamel Herring. They've oh, got yeah, so Herring, yeah. many, yeah. so many good fighters there. And But at the same time, you have to remember, we're going to be fighting. We, might, we may do a few rounds with each other, but um, we're going to be bringing fighters in, like sparring partners in, you know? Like yeah. what we normally do. Right. But you know who I like a lot? Who? Honestly, like Bo Mike. The oh, Bo Mike, yeah. the trainer. What look, what a nice guy. Yeah. Like, he, we sat down and we had a really good conversation. And you know, he, he was very honest about a lot of things. And yeah. um, That's what you need. Yeah, and he, need. One thing I want to say that when we were speaking to him, um, he analyzed my fight when I was fighting Crawford. Yeah. But like, they know me to the T. Yeah. Like, he so goes, they've, they've done their homework basically. Yeah. Yeah. So like, he knows my footwork. He knew my that my footwork. You know, he knew that my hands are quick. He knew when to when to attack me, when not to attack okay, me, how to fight right. me, how to what not to do. So if you think about it, like they done, and honestly, analysis. we did nothing like that. Yeah. You know, you have to do analysis. I mean, yeah. it, boxing is not only you train in the gym. You but have when to have you go a, home, a game plan. You have to have a game plan. But yeah. when you're at home, you have to, you're just still boxing. You know. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Oh, that's really good. So first of all, Slamnikum Omar from Burnley. Omar I Burnley, what's going on? Hey. Hey. How you doing, Omar? You right? Omar, listen, brother, we are coming to... We're going to ring you. Manchester. <laughs> we're going to see you in Manchester. We're going to ring you, yeah? How are they at 12 o'clock at night. What time is it? You got three hours, brother. Omar, we're going to see you in three hours. <laughs> Omar, don't go to sleep, bro. Uh, My mum's good. She's. I'm going there and seeing her now. Um, I'm like, you know, she... she, she she had a tr treatment and alhamdulillah she's okay um, and it's been some time i've seen her for a couple of months yeah be nice to see her yeah you try good to see auntie see how she's doing yeah yeah and um, see the family and everyone else and um what's that really what's your favorite part about training for a fight um training for a fight is that from sarah, sarah yeah. big up sarah yo sarah so, hey how you, how you doing sarah hope you're well hope you're enjoying the states can't wait to see you back in dubai so Sarah does look. She looks after a lot of my marketing and PR. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she looks takes good care of me, and uh, literally like she's a person to know when you go to Dubai she got or America. Pictures and stuff like that. Pictures. What do you mean? Yeah, by you pictures? know, obviously marketing. Does she have? Oh, all my. Yeah, she has yeah. everything. Yeah. So, so I wanted to contact you because I needed for the American Academy. PR. Yeah. So Sarah is the one who looks after all my stuff. So okay. Sarah, yeah, we are gonna. What, did, what was the question again? What's your favorite part about training for a fight? It, uh, it, not running, not jogging again. I, mean, I like I like everything really. Yeah. You know, I just love being focused and being in that fight mode, um, yeah. and just training for a hard fight. You know, it's all about staying focused and eating clean, and and you you, you switch from you, you know you switch off in a way from the outside world. You're just focused on what you have to do in the ring, and you watching your every move of your opponents. You watch his fights. You kind of visualize you fighting him when you're training, yeah. and um, eat, sleep, eat, eat, everything. sleep, box, box, yeah, yeah. About your opponent. Yeah, and a lot of people um, don't know how hard a training camp is because yeah. it is very tough, man. I mean, look, there's days there where you miss your family, you miss yeah. your friends, but you have to sacrifice those things exactly. to be the best. Makes you, you more know? hungry as well. It makes it? you more hungry as well. So war when you go into you, you go into war, basically, yeah. yeah, you know, and when you go to war, you know, you have to forget about your loved ones and you have to just focus on your job ahead. So guys, I mean, um, I'm not just saying this because obviously I'm his mate, but last year I took you on pads 
my dear. And I tell you what, in Bolton, I took him on pads, and I think he said to me, I've not really been training, but uh, I'll have a little mess about. No word of a lie, I was very amazed and shocked about his speed. Yeah, amazing speed. I just about kept up. Do you want, do you yeah, no, no, it was, it was good, it was good, yeah. So you can imagine if he's going to be in a fight camp on week six or seven, yeah. probably able to keep up. See, I mean, you know, I think one thing, like, a lot of people said to me, how do you train speed? I think you're either born with it or you're not. Yeah. Like, you can't really train it. But um, you can, there's ways of maybe working it. I think speed, so, and then obviously you work on your power, you work on your movements and everything. So, yeah, man, I mean, it was wicked that we did some work together because... Yeah, very good. You oh, know, like, honestly. yeah. And, and also it's different because every Padman is different. Yeah. Every mate, guy who holds mitts for you is, yeah. has a different style. You know, it no, teaches you different things, different techniques. I mean, we did about three, four rounds, but inshallah we'll do more. So, when are you coming to Birmingham? Well, I might be there on Sunday. I might stop over as a quick hello. I'll probably stop over in Birmingham. Um, well, see how that goes. Uh, okay. When are you coming to Pakistan? Pakistan. So, hopefully, after my fight, I'm going to be in Pakistan. Due to the pandemic, and uh, obviously the coronavirus and everything, it's been very difficult to fly over there. But, um, so realistically, I, next realistically year? Probably December, December, December really, yeah, December. Go, guys, December? Yeah. Because the last show was in December, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right, that yeah. Year. And then we did, yeah, that's right. Good yeah. there. That was during the pandemic, which was quite difficult on its own. Uh, so if you think about it, we've been in this pandemic for like a, over a year and a half, isn't it? Like 18 months. 18 yeah. months, yeah. months, and look guys, stay strong. It's all in the mind. And um, spend time with your loved ones. I mean, I think this period gave me that chance to kind of you know, you, you realize that how fortunate we are to live yeah. in a to live like this. You know, where now things are hard for us, things have stopped for us. We don't there, like you've been told what you can do, what you can't do. I think it just makes you realize now that you know how fortunate we are. Yeah, no, no, 100%. and we have Definitely. to. We want them days to come back, and this time we're gonna respect those days and we're gonna make the most of it and appreciate those days. So, uh, Jack wants a shout. Out. Quick shout out to Jack. Jack, what's going on? Hope you're so well. A, so basically, that's the son of, uh, of a friend of mine, Shelton, uh, who I work with, his son. Oh, Loves nice, boxing, nice, nice. And he's always asking me about you. Oh, really? Um, oh, so yeah. Jack, what's going on, champ? Jack, you love football, but you need to come over to boxing, yeah? Switch over. <laughs>